Hey guys, this is part four, 14 of the Sworn Princess read along. It can't, it can't be, Queen Uberta said under her breath. Derek moved towards the stairs around him. The guest muttered, murmured in disbelief. Uberta leaned toward the podium. Rogers, who is it? Do you know her? I, I, I don't know, Rogers replied. <clears throat> Come now, Rogers, Uberta said. I know he confines in you. Who is it? I promise I do not know her. Although she does look a great deal like... But it couldn't be. Queen Uberta squinted at the young lady, whose face resembled the poor dead daughter of King William. Could it? Derek approached his beloved. Loved. He he reached down and touched her soft cheek. I was so worried, he said, beaming. I almost thought nothing could keep me away, the hag replied. Derek turned to Lord Rogers and snapped his fingers twice. Immediately, Rogers cued his orchestra as Derek's song filled the ballroom. He began to dance with the girl of his dreams. A few yards away lay from the moat. Puffin rubbed John Bob's shoulders. Ugh, ugh. Okay, Speed will draw those gators away. Then you'll get a running start and psh, for that hole. If I can find it, John Bob said nervously. And if the alligators don't chew me before I get there. Not to worry, Puffin assured him. Speed will rush to help. Suddenly, I'm full of comfort. Puffin raised his wing high across the moat. Speed waited for his signal. On your mark, Puffin bellowed. John Bob shook his legs and crouched into, into a sprinter's position. Speed began shouting at the alligators. Hey, you old winterheads, come and get me. Come on, bug eyes, this way, chicken lips. The alligators turned. They floated angrily towards Speed. Perfect, Puffin said. Okay, ready, set, go. John Bob bound, bounded towards the moat. Faster, Puffin urged. Faster! Higher and higher, John Bob leapt, leaped. Sure, he muttered. Come on, John Bob, race to your death. The alligators were floating in Speed's direction. Their backs were to John Bob, but not for long. Long. One of them looked backward for a moment. His eyes met John Bob. Bob's. Instantly, he turned. John Bob tried to, trying to pull up short, but he was too fast. With a terrified scream, he bounced into the water. He rose to the surface. He was looking into the eyes of two hungry alligators. Ah! He began squirming for for his life. Zoom. Speed whizzed by him. Get moving, moving, Slowpoke. He called to John Bob. Slowpoke, John Bob said. The alligators tore past him, intent on, ca intent on catching Speed. So that's how the turtle got his nickname. Name. John Bob dove underwater. He squammed to the wall of the water dungeon. He examined it, block by block. Where was the opening? Any luck? came Speed's voice. John Bob looked around. Before he could answer, a wall of gators squammed to view. Speed darted out of the way. This time the alligators didn't go after him. They headed straight for John Bob. John Bob had no time to sink. If he didn't do something drastic, he was dinner for sure. The hole. He could barely see if it, there it was. Impossibly tiny. Leaking getting between two loose stones at the base of the tower. Thrusting his legs, he shot into the tiny opening. Fonk! 
he made it halfway. <laughs> John Bob twisted, but his body was only jammed tighter and tighter. He was stuck. 